Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, the scalar rule and what, a little bit about the derivative of a constant. So basically what the scalar rule is, is you say it's d dx, d dx of, um, we're going to put this all in brackets, this is going to be a times f at x, a times f, there we go, f at x. So the derivative of all of this, and basically this a is just a scalar. And so the other way we can write this is going to be equal to a times the derivative of f of x. f of x. Right, all we did was we can just, if there's a scalar in here, we can just pull it out, and then once we're done, once we differentiate f of x, we can multiply that back by the scalar. Or another way we could write this, um, if you prefer, um, we know we could write this as a times f prime at x. And so basically, like an example of this would be if we think back to the, um, the power rule examples, we wanted to differentiate. Um, I'll write this. Uh, f of x is equal to. Remember, we did x squared, but let's say we had three x squared. So if we take f prime at x, if we differentiate this, uh, what we're going to do? Remember, we're going to bring down the two, so it'll be. We'll have the 3, we'll bring down the 2 in front of the x times 2 times x, and this is to the power of 1, which is the same as 6x. And so basically all that happened here was we did the same thing in the power rule, and we just don't even bother looking at the, the constant, as long as it's multiplied to it. And then so we can just differentiate, we get 2x to the power of 1 times 3. It's another way to get it, it's equals to 6x. You know, another example we could do, say, if f of x, um, let's say this was equal to 1 half um, times, I don't know, x to the fourth. So this we would get when we differentiate, we would get f prime at x is equal to, just keep the 1 half in front, 1 half times, now bring the 4 down, times 4x cubed which is equal to, well, we can uh, reduce this to uh, divide that by 2 and 2, and we get equal to 2x cubed. So I hope that makes sense. You can do that with any of the examples from the power video, uh, the power rule video. Um, now, the other thing we want to talk about in this video is the derivative of just a constant. Um, now, the derivative of just a constant by itself is 0, and I'll just show you that here quickly with the the shortened version of the limit definition of a derivative. So say we have d dx of a, right? a is just any constant number. So this is going to equal, well, and you know what, remember what a constant function looks like, right? It just, uh, if we pick any, any constant function, it's going to just be a horizontal line, you know, something like this. Uh, and whatever this value is, this is just a or y is equal to a. So anyways, back to this. We have the limit as h goes to 0. Now, we want the rise over run, right? So we know that the run is going to be h, and the rise is, well, it's just a minus a, right? They're both at the same level. And so this is going to give us, uh, this is going to equal the limit uh, of h goes to 0 of 0 over h and that's equal to the limit uh, as h goes to 0 uh, of h goes to 0 of 0 which is equal to 0 and that makes sense because um, a constant function is a horizontal line and a horizontal line has a slope of 0 so if we do just have you know, the derivative of a constant function, it makes sense that it's not going to have any slope that's not zero, I guess. And the only other thing to point out here uh, that's worth mentioning is, um, especially for this this, uh, this rise part, that we considered f at, remember, x plus h uh, is equal to a, right? That's what we did up here. And also, that's also equal to f at x which all falls into place because it is a horizontal line.